G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 68 of the Walsall Road to Glory Career Mode series. And today's episode, boy oh boy, it is a huge one. We're going to kick off the Premier League season here at home, taking on West Ham United. Hopefully our new signings can do some work. Of course, our highest rated player, Rui Patricio, 85 rated goalkeeper, making his debut for the club. Jansen here, the left back, puts it into McCallum and Patricio makes his first save as a Warsaw man. Danny Ings playing this one out wide to Ince. Tommy Ince over the top. Ryan Gold whips it down. The Scottish Messi running inside. One-on-one -on -one takes the strike, but it is a good save there by the West Ham keeper. As we move into the second half, Mark Noble is on the ball. He's going to play it out wide there to Jansen, who's going to pass it back to Noble. Noble passes it to Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll one-on-one, -on -one, but Andy Carroll's shot fortunately goes into the side netting. Thank the Lord for that. But in the 62nd minute, five minutes later, Lee running up the line. A good tackle from Sherinzi. It goes back out to this guy who passed it to Legette. Back to Andy Carroll. Back to Kuyate. Passes it out wide to Noble. Noble looking for an option. Finds Carroll. Good save from Patricio. And it does go out for a goal kick. And lads, our first game of the Premier League season. A scoreless draw at home against West Ham. So not the worst start to the season, but... We did really not look that uh, threatening on the attacking side of things. But we still have the transfer window to worry about. We're trying to sign a new starting central midfielder to go along with Fellaini and Ryan Gold. So we're going to go for James Ward-Prowse, offering up Krishna. I know he's not worth much, but you know, it's worth worth a, worth an opportunity, worth the chance. But Steven Nzonzi, the Frenchman from Stoke, who has gone to Sevilla in real life, I do believe. We are going to go in for him as well. £7 million, and we're going to also uh, not add anyone to the offer. £7 million for Nzonzi. We're also going to go in for Mark Noble, who had a pretty good game when we just played West Ham then. Very cheap as well. Not quite sure what he's going to be overall-wise, but we may as well go in for him. So £2.5 million. And as we move on here... We're going to take a big risk here. Hernanez, 83 rated. That would be a great pickup if we could get him. He's 33 years old, which is definitely a negative, but we may as well still go in for him. 7.5 million pounds. Pushing on, we're going to go in for uh, Jem Karakan from Reading. His stats look very good, and he, he's pretty cheap, so may as well go in for him. And finally, or well, maybe finally, we're going to go in for Ramirez from Chelsea. 5.5 uh, million value, and... 6.9 to 8.1 million uh, chief executive comment. We're going to say 5.5 million. And then finally, we're going to go in for Musa Sissoko. I'm a big fan of his. He plays for Newcastle United, of course. Would be very nice to get him in. We're going to say 6.2 million pounds, and hopefully we can sign him. But lads, our first game in the Champions League for the Walsall Career Mode Series. Our first game ever. That's pretty cool. We played Europa Leagues last season, but... We now have to qualify for the Champions League. We are taking on Mulder FK in the qualifying rounds. Hopefully, we can defeat them in the two legs. And then this is the lineup that we are rocking with. Mayuka, Lecky, all making their debuts. Uh, same with Alex Gers back. Hopefully, we can pick up the victory here. Goal Branson, a good save there from Rui Patricio. And it gets cleared from Emre Chan. And on the stroke of halftime, it is Joshua Gatt, I do believe it is, whipping it into Goal Branson, who hits it off the post, almost sneaks in, but Pollens gets to it in the nick of time. And then continuing, they are dominating us. Once again, a great save there from Rui Patricio. We move into the second half, though. Matthew Leckie on one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Matt Leckie. Puts it home on debut. Matthew Lecky, our Australian left winger, gives us a 1-0 lead in the Champions League qualifiers against Mulder. And honestly, not well deserved at all. We were being dominated. But Kazim Richards into Mayuka. Mayuka off the bloody post. He could have gotten a debut goal as well. And then two minutes, Banan to Kosh. Kosh to back, goes back, hits it. Freaking Alex goes back. Our a substitute left back almost gives us a 2 0 lead, but that there is a huge victory. We head into the second leg with a 1 
nil advantage against Mulder FK. West Ham accept our transfer offer here for Marky Noble, 31 years of age. We're going to offer him a contract. Important first team player, 30k a week and two years. Newcastle United, they want 10 million for Musa Sissoko, which is fair enough. We're going to go and bump up the price. We're going to bump it up to 7 million pounds because we are we're struggling for a bit of cash. If we were a little bit richer, we would easily be able to get Sissoko. Same with Ramirez. Chelsea want 8 million for him, so we're going to bump it up to 6.5 million pounds, trying to conserve all the funds that we can. And then Stoke City. 9 million pounds for Nzonzi. So once again, we're going to try keeping it nice and cheap. 8 million pounds for Nzonzi. Pushing on and into Milan. Everyone's freaking declining us except for West Ham. But they want 9.5 for Hernanez. So we're going to bump that up to 8.3 million pounds. And see if we can get the Brazilian in to the club. Inter accept our transfer over there for Hernanez. So... 56,000 pounds. We can't afford 90,000 pounds that he wants. And Chelsea once again say 8 million pounds for Ramirez. We're going to say 7.1 million pounds. Pushing on though, however, lads, we are going to see Stoke CBA keep wanting 9 million pounds for freaking Inzonzi. So we're going to bump it up, trying to save every cent that we can. 8.4 million pounds. And as we move on, Newcastle United 10 million pounds once again. Freaking hell, they're not budging, are they? We're going to bump this offer up to 8 million and just see what we can do. But the final matchup of today's episode is going to be away from home once again. It is our second matchup for the Premier League season. We are traveling to St. Mary's Stadium, taking on Southampton, the Saints. They have a quite a decent side. Uh, Hilmaz up front, got to watch out for him. Schneiderlin has still stayed at the club, uh, but then this is our lineup. Very, very decent side. De Vrij, I'm not sure if he started the last game, but uh, he is our one of our new signings, 81 rated. And lad, the side is looking quite good at the moment. I'm very impressed with it so far. Gaston Ramirez, though. Bloody hell, what a freaking goal from Gaston Ramirez, the Uruguayan, opening the scoring here for Southampton. Not good at all for us. Great strike from distance. And we are now 1-0 behind. And we have an uphill battle on our hands, lads. Ryan Gold to Danny Ings. Danny Ings sees the run from Belassi. Belassi hits it first time. Equalizes it. What a great strike there from Yannick Belassi. The Congolese left midfielder. Putting it in the back of the net. That is absolutely fantastic. Danny Ings open once again. One on with the keeper. Takes it past and only just... Misses. That would have been a fantastic goal. But on the stroke of half time, Barry Bannan to Ryan Gold. Ryan Gold looking to get past Yoshida. Does it successfully. One on one. Hits it straight at the keeper. Goes with the follow up. It goes to Danny Ings. But the keeper unfortunately gets to it. But then with 10 minutes remaining, De Vrij plays it out to Yedvaj, who gets dispossessed from Lee Catamol. Goes to Gaston Ramirez. No, oh, bloody hell, Sharinzi. Sharinzi takes down Ramirez in the box. Gets a straight red card. And we now have to try saving this penalty. A shocking challenge on my behalf. I wanted to clear it, but went in for the slide tackle instead. Tadic. Oh, my God. Patricio goes the right way. But it is just a bit too high there for Patricio. Southampton with the 2-1 advantage. Not looking good. Three minutes remaining. Danny Ings to Sam Mantum. Mantum looking for an option. He's going to cut back around. Gets taken down in the box. Penalty. Get in there, lads. We get a penalty of our own. Danny Ng steps up, puts it in the back of the net, and we have used our get-out-of-jail-free card. A two-all draw, getting another one point, and we are now on two points in the Premier League campaign. But that match was, that was a pretty cool match, if you ask me. But Newcastle United, they say they want £10 million for Musa Sissoko. So... That is the end of our Musa Sissoko deals. Anyways, lads, if you did enjoy today's episode of the Walsall Road to Glory Career Mode series, make sure that you smash the crap out of that like button. It really helps me out. I really want to keep uploading this series. I love recording it, love editing it. It is so much fun. So make sure that you do leave a like. But subscribe down below if you are new around here. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links, as always, will be in the description. But most importantly, lads, I hope you... Have a fantastic day. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.